this is Todd. We met the other day and after talking to him for a few minutes, I decided to build him a tiny home bike camper to help get him off the streets. So we went to Home Depot, picked up some stuff and got right to work. We picked up inch and a half foam board insulation and a ton of adhesive. We glued polywall utility panels to the insulation to make sure this thing would be completely waterproof. In our previous video, we didn't glue any poly board to the outside of the bike camper because we were in a really dry part of California and it just doesn't rain a lot. But since Seattle gets a ton of rain, we knew it was a necessity to waterproof this tiny home really well. Once we finished gluing the panels, we put them to the side and started building the frame to the trailer. We used 2x3s for the outside frame of the trailer and 2x2s for the inside part of it. We then drilled some pilot holes, then screwed it all together using 2 inch decking screws. Todd is 5 foot 10 inches tall, so we made the inside of this bike camper 6 feet long and 32 inches wide, which is a good size to make sure this trailer would be nice and lightweight. But the next step was to install the wheels that my friend Teresa picked up for us on OfferUp. So we measured out where the wheels would go and basically boxed out a frame that would hold the wheels onto the trailer. We then made sure that the wheel fits and then installed these brackets to the bottom side of the trailer. Once we finished the trailer and it passed my chariot test, it was time to cut out the foam board pieces. The first step was to cut out the walls of the trailer, so we took our time measuring to figure out the exact shape that we wanted the trailer to be. I tried to go with a boxier frame because I feel like the rounder bike campers are just a lot smaller on the inside. I used my circular saw with a fine finished blade to cut out all the foam pieces. And it worked great. After measuring, we had all the pieces cut out in less than 30 minutes. But while I finished cutting out this piece of foam board, Click that subscribe button, it'll help us out. But now that all the foam pieces are cut out, it's time to assemble this bike camper. To install the walls, we used Sika adhesive that's made to bond foam together, then we screwed it in using our 2 inch decking screws. And thank you to everyone in the comments from our last video that recommended we use washers to make sure the screws don't go through the foam. Now that the walls and the roof of this bike camper are all put together, I used some PVC corner trim pieces to help hide the seams. And I did this for appearance, but also to make sure that no water gets in through the cracks. We then picked up these vents that open and close and installed them on both sides of the bike camper for some ventilation. I cut out the holes for the vents with my jigsaw, then ran a bead of the Sika adhesive around all the frames. Now that the vents are installed, it's time to build a back door. I really didn't want this trailer to be heavy, so I used 1x2s for the door frame. I then cut out a piece of the same foam board insulation, 
then screwed one by twos to the edges of it, that way I can screw door hinges to it. This will make sure that the door is a lot more sturdy while making sure that the trailer is still really lightweight. I built a little latch to make sure that the door will stay closed. Then it was time to install the bracket that will connect the trailer to the bicycle. And it was officially time to give this trailer a test drive. So I jumped on the bike and went for a ride. And of course Hope had to jump in the back for a ride before heading to Walmart to pick up some things for Todd. Now it's officially the next day and we've decided to install a solar panel onto this bike camper to make sure Todd gets some power. We were also fortunate enough to have Teresa donate this power station that the solar panel can charge. It's only a 25 watt solar panel but it should give him enough power to be able to charge a cell phone and use the flashlight that's built into the power station. There's also a link to the GoFundMe in the description of this video. If you guys donate, 100% of the proceeds will be used to help people in need just like this. I wired up the solar panel to the power station, then screwed the solar panel to the roof of the bike camper. I screwed the solar panel through the foam into a 2x4 to make sure that it will be nice and secure. And of course I used some more of the Sika adhesive on all the screws to make sure the roof won't leak. We also installed some reflectors on the back of the bike camper to make sure that cars can see the bike camper at nighttime. Then I connected the solar panel to the power station to make sure it worked. And just like that we have electricity and the bike camper is completely finished and for last touches I went around the entire trailer with a last bottle of adhesive to make sure this thing would be completely sealed. We then loaded up everything we bought for Todd onto the bike camper before getting it transported. All right, so we have the bike camper loaded up on the trailer. Now we're gonna go find Todd. So we've been driving around for about 20 minutes looking for Todd and we finally found him. He's right over there, so let's go get him. Looking for you. I'm sitting up there waiting for you. Meet me over there. Okay. So we just got the bike and the trailer transported to Planet Fitness. Todd's walking over, I'm kind of nervous. Can't wait to give it to him, so let's see what happens. Look at that bike. I don't know if I properly introduced myself, I'm Manny. Yes, nice to meet you, Manny. Yeah, very good to meet you. Last time when we met, you had told me that, you know, you were literally living on the street. Yeah. So we built this for you. We got you a solar panel. Thanks. I got you a power station. Oh, wow. It charges off the solar. Wow. It has a little flashlight built in. We got you socks, underwear, towel, sleeping bag, pillow, food, pot, pots and pans, everything that you need to hopefully help you live a little bit better. So socks, little pot and pan. We got you some electrolytes so you can stay more hydrated. We got you a bike lock. Sweet. Soap, baby wipes, some cookies. You want a cookie now? Oh, I'm good for you. Yeah. All right. Perfect. You know, and then this is the little cooktop. You just oh, wow. got to mount it up. It's very small. The propane tank is the mount. Cool. Underwear, bunch of stuff in there, man. Love you, man. <laughs> no, it's, it, dude, this is, this is what we do. This is what we say a prayer? I pray that you can help this man get over any obstacles that are holding him back in life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bro, be safe, man. God bless you.